2022 was an undulating year for the EV toll industry. There were many highs and lows. There were achievements and also a few pitfalls. In this video, we will review progress and obstacles that we faced in the previous year and some of the exciting technological gains that we can look forward to in the year 2023. On this channel, Electric Aviation, we aim to bring for you all the latest from the world of sustainable air transport. Subscribe to get all our updates. Now back to the topic. If the preceding years were that of innovation and inflated expectations, then 2022 can be said to be the year of consolidation for electric aviation technology. There were no groundbreaking aircraft designs that came to the fore. In fact, it was one particular type of design that most of the aircraft companies have been converging on. It is the lift plus cruise configuration. For a 50 mile hop with four passengers on board, the lift plus cruise design was the preferred option for vertical aerospace, Archer Aviation, Embraer Eve and Autoflight. There are other developers that are using tilt wing and tilt rotor configuration and a couple with slow rotor gyrocopter technology. These are, however, far and few between. So before we look into some of the more uplifting news events in the year 2022, let's look at a few letdowns. The biggest casualty of 2022 was the winding down of Kitty Hawk. The California-based company had been working on a variety of electric and autonomous aircraft since 2015. Their aircraft, the Heaviside, was one of the more efficient aircraft developed to date consuming the least amount of energy for every mile covered. Kitty Hawk hasn't ceased to exist. They are still operating. They have tied themselves to Viscaro. One of the most promising eVTOL aircraft, the Joby S4 prototype, registered a crash during a test flight. The accident occurred on the 16th of February 2022. At the time of the crash, the eVTOL was flying at 272 mile per hour which was well above its designed cruise speed limit of 200 miles per hour. This means that the aircraft was trying to push its flight envelope. Fortunately, the aircraft was being piloted remotely and no casualties were reported. One of the most awaited questions of eVTOL enthusiasts is the price of Opener's Blackfly. In the year 2022, this still remains a mystery. Till this day, the price hasn't been announced. We will have to stick with the old statement that is the price of the black fly will be the same as that of a luxury SUV. The EV toll industry has been waiting for solid state batteries for quite a while. Toyota has been testing these batteries since 2020. A video was released in 2021 by Toyota Motor Corporation showing EVs field testing solid state batteries in one of their cars. The news for the availability of these higher energy density batteries has been long awaited by the EV toll companies. Note that these batteries have the potential to not only increase the energy density from the current maximum of 300 watt hour per kilogram to 600 watt hour per kilogram, but would also usher in longevity and enhance safety. Unfortunately, neither Toyota nor Quantumscape released any batteries in 2022. Now let's have a look at some of the uplifting events and developments in the previous year and what we can look forward to this year. The biggest progress in 2022 was the successful flight tests of many prototype electric aircraft and most of them were full scale. For EV toll aircraft, full transition from vertical to horizontal flight was achieved by Lilium's Phoenix 2, Air EV's Air 1, Autoflight's Prosperity 1, and by Archer's maker. China's TCAP Tech E20 also achieved a full transition flight test for 50% scale prototype. Vertical Aerospace completed 14 tethered flight tests of its VAX4 prototype. The aircraft manufacturer Embraer was reported to complete a series of flight tests in Brazil for their eVTOL aircraft. However, very little details were revealed about these tests. One of the most exciting electric aircraft designs, the Cavalier X5, successfully completed hover tests with just 65% of the available onboard power. The prototype, however, was half scale. In the conventional takeoff and landing aircraft category, Beta Technologies' Alaya aircraft flew for more than 200 miles in its flight test. 
Aviation Alice also completed a successful flight test in the USA and flew for 8 minutes at an altitude of 3,500 feet. NASA completed a full-scale crash test of eVTOL with dummies inside. It successfully tested the eVTOL vehicle concept representing six-passenger high-wing overhead mass multiple rotor vehicle obtaining more than 200 channels of data and collecting over 20 onboard and offboard camera views. This data would be extremely useful for creating aircraft that are safe for usage in an urban environment. At the tail end of last year, Archer Aviation showcased their new concept called the Midnight. Like other EV tools in its category, the Midnight will be a five-seater, that is four passenger and one pilot, and will fly up to 60 miles with speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. In the multi-copter category, RISE Aero Technologies emerged with their personal EV tool named the Recon, that is similar to the Jetson 1. There are some differences between the two aircrafts though. Recon is a much wider and longer aircraft than the Jetson 1. It is also being developed for agricultural applications, unlike the Jetson 1, which is more for recreation. In the large rotor category, joint air mobility seemed to have been the mainstay of emerging EV tools, but there are two more contenders. One is the Linux P9 by Arc Aerospace. The concept reveals a nine-seater hybrid with slow rotor technology. This aircraft looks like a cross between a fixed-wing aircraft and a large autogyro. The other is the Piasetsky PA-890. This eVTOL aircraft is also an electric-powered, slow-rotor wing compound helicopter. Piasetsky is on track to start flight testing a full-scale prototype of its hydrogen-powered PA-890 helicopter in 2023, as it aims for type certification by the end of 2024. Battery manufacturers are now turning towards the cell-to-pack technology. This allows for higher volumetric energy density at the pack level. It does away with the intermediate module stage and puts the cells directly into the pack, which reduces the waste space. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is progressing leaps and bounds. There has been a shift in thinking by many EV tool manufacturers, and they are now eyeing hydrogen fuel cell technology to power their EV tools. This could increase the performance envelope. Batteries, however, still provide the cheaper option for both capital and operational cost. Solid state batteries are also due to be released. There is a huge incentive for solid state battery manufacturers to be the first to market and cross the 400 watt hour per kilogram barrier. There is a high demand for these batteries because they can be used both in electric cars and also in electric drones and aircraft. The eVTOL market is growing steadily and will be worth around 8.5 billion in the year 2025. In 2021, some 1950 orders were placed for electric aircraft, followed by 2100 more in 2022, bringing the total to 5050 orders. The future of electric aircraft and eVTOLs in particular looks promising. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.